Right. Hi everyone, this is Richard from GoVetch UK. I uh, just wanted to show you with you uh, an update about what I've been up to over the winter period. Uh, I've been working with an old client of ours who has a street lead tour, but they wanted to add more of an interactive element to their tour. Now what I mean by interactive is like basically adding uh, media links, so uh, pictures, videos, information boxes, and they also wanted some um, some extra navigation options with the tour as well. So rather than trying to explain it, I'll simply show you what I mean by this. So let's just drop my head here and let's type in the virtual tour link. Oh, let's make, let's make it a smaller. There we go. All right, so um, as you can see, first thing that happens is that you get this big swoop into the virtual tour. So now we're actually in their virtual tour. Second thing you'll notice is that we've added some music to their virtual tour as well. Um, this is basically something to add to the atmosphere of the virtual tour. Thirdly, um, we do also have this uh, this kind of spiralling aspect to it as well, so if the person is away from the keyboard, um, the virtual tour will basically start to pan itself, uh, just to add a bit more of an entertainment aspect while uh, no one's around. So when I mentioned before about the interactive elements, here's a couple that we have on the screen here. So we've got pictures that were added from their website. So these aren't actually embedded into the into the virtual tour, these are um, web linked. Um, so basically these are taken from wherever the photograph was taken. So as you can see this is, pro this is more likely outside of uh, the building here. Uh, just to highlight that again, we have one that's a view from above. So when we add, click onto that, um, obviously it's taken from above. Um, we have a few other interactive aspects, I'll show you those in a second. Uh, I just want to show you the navigation options that we have. So, first thing you'll notice is these arrows at the bottom. So these allow for a step-by-step -step, um, walk around. Um, I think we'll go, we'll go to the tie bar and I'll show you those in action. But for the majority of the time, um, we do tend to have like one giant step um, going throughout the tour. So we've got a link in the woods over here. So if we go and click on this, um, we are now at the lake. So one thing that the client wanted was to eliminate the need to walk step by step throughout the entire estate because there was a lot of panoramics for this tour. And yeah, as you can see, we've got like a... It's all, it's all you need really. It's, uh, it's, one, it's basically one 360 street view of the, um, of the lake. And we've got some pictures dotted around here as well. Um, obviously taken out the bench, that's why the pictures highlighted at the bench. So uh, the next one that we have for navigation options is down here. This is kind of a, a snap to menu so to speak so we've got basically one panoramic highlighted for each area of the estate. So I just can see there's a link there. Uh, so if we go to uh, Thai Barn for example we are now inside the barn which is a completely different building on its own. On its own. And so, yeah, I'll show you the arrows. So these arrows do allow you to go step by step throughout this particular area. And yeah, we do still have the uh, whole like 360 completely edited photographs available. Here's a, okay, let's uh, turn off the music for a second, or mute it. Um, here's uh, a video that you can also add. So if you do have promotional videos, you can add them to the tour as well. So I won't leave that running too long just because of, uh, uh, of rights. Um, we also have what you can see here. Uh, so we've got some media links, but these are the, like the website links. And these website links um, can be whatever you want basically, but you can add website links that all navigate the person to more information or whatever it is that you like that you, that you like in regards to what it's focused on. So let's have a look. Um, in fact, you know what, let's, leave, let's use navigation option number three, which is up here, to get to another website link. So if I was to tap on here, you can see with the floor plans, the nodes are moving along with us at the same time. But you can also use these nodes to um, to navigate as well. So if you click on the nodes, those actually move you around the tour as well. So here's another interactive element. 
Um, you can add information boxes to the tour as well. So let's go to whoop, a bit too far. Oh, here's one. So you can add any kind of information that you like to it if it's information about um, about, about that aspect. Uh, here's another what's that link? About the food and drink. And this doesn't also have to be about information as well. So if we go to um, if we go to the Woodland Glade, for example, we also have um, bookings as well. So you can actually uh, click and book your accommodation. There's also this uh, navigation option as well, uh, which is like secretly embedded throughout the tour for the majority of the doors. But the final navigation option is actually up here. Um, so in fact, let's just go over here somewhere you can see it properly. There we go. So this is a this is a logo of the uh, of the estate itself. Um, so this is a custom made button. So if you click on there, we've controlled it so that it will expand and go over here while you navigate through the alternate menus. These menus are very similar to these ones at the bottom. Um, the added up the added uh, feature to these though is that you get navigation options for every single every single panoramic that's in any given location. And then if you want you can just neatly drop those down. So yeah, I think that's uh, that's everything I wanted to show you. Um, so yeah, you still get the full 360 immersive elements that are virtual tools. Um, but you do also get these um, yeah this uh, this interactive media to go along with it as well. So I hope you like that, and thanks very much for watching. Um, if you are interested in having something like this added to your your business as well, just let me know. I'd be happy to help you out. Thanks very much for watching. Take care.